How's it going? It's Nick Too Quick here, and I'm I'm angry. You know, usually, actually, I'm gonna just correct that. Not at all. You don't see me angry on this channel. I'm a happy-go-lucky person. You know, I just keep calm, post videos, don't do nothing past YouTube's guidelines. I don't do anything. Nothing bad. No, no, no copyright strikes ever. Nothing. But from what you guys can see in the title is that I I'm pushed over the edge with Google Plus. Now it's been a long road. At first, you know, I, I, I remember this. At first they was constantly asking you. Constantly. I would get it four times a week. Every time I would do something, do you want to connect your Google Plus account with YouTube so you can use your real name? Oh, I use my real name? No. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, we'll ask you again later. And then I was like, okay, it's kind of creepy. But then, like I said, I get it at least three to four times a week. So they asked me again. And I'm like, no. And then, like a little rapist, it's okay. We'll ask you again later. And then I'm like, huh. And then they keep asking me. So, you know, I was one day, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to create one. I'll see how it works. I connect both of them. First, they give me that little bullshit ass of a profile picture, which is retarded, which. I don't even understand the reason I don't have my past profile pic on here is because it's too small, which is stupid. Why did you make me change it then? I don't understand. Then I search around and then I see some, you know, some corny ass shit called circles, which I can understand, you know, Facebook, friends. I can understand Instagram, you know, Twitter, followers. I can understand that. But circles, really? How, how corny can you get? I don't understand. Like, what? Why, why? Why? I didn't even understand how the shit worked, pretty much. So, I went back to my YouTube settings, and I don't know why I didn't notice it the first time that I was doing it, but it said, temporarily disconnect your YouTube channel from Google+, Plus, which I don't understand, but I did not catch that they said temporarily, which the long, which the pretty much summed down definition of temporarily is, will it'll be like this just for now, only for now, temporarily, but you're gonna do this later regardless. It's only it's just a temporary stage that you get to stop being on it. So then, you know, sure enough, they changed that, and then one day, I don't know, I think it was about like three months ago, you couldn't reply to comments or you couldn't even comment on anything because you had to get Google fucking plus so I was like you know what might as well they're forcing us to get it anyway I knew they was coming back they said they'll ask me later and they said it only be temporarily disconnected so why not so I get on it wasn't bad I mean I, I searched around I, I looked for the pros and cons of it and I was really I was hanging strong with Google Plus for I was like hey that's more expansion for your channel for me I had two or three big youtubers put me in their circles now that's just more connectivity now if you go long term if people like your videos they share them I think it automatically shares them on Google Plus if they like them especially if they comment on them I know for a fact it shares the video so then let's say that person has lots of people following them on Google Plus and they actually you know like to watch the things they watch then that just means more branching for your channel than as they're liking and commenting on your videos it's just a, a constant mixtures of circles coming together and then giving you your channel growth Especially for a small person that can help in a way. So I was like, okay, I don't think it's bad. All you got, only thing they took was comments. It wasn't that bad, you know, it's okay. I mean, I ain't going to use the site, so it doesn't matter. So I was like, all I needed to do was comment. So then, sure enough, they was like, let's screw you over some more. And then, I can't even reply to people's comments that are on my videos. I can't reply to a comment on any person's video. It's stupid as fuck. Why? Why? I can't even thumbs up a comment. I thumbs up a comment. It says, you can't thumbs up this comment at this time. I'm like, what the f What? But if I plus one in the comment on Google+, Plus, it gives it a thumbs up. So I was like, okay. I'm a calm. I ain't about to get mad. 
you know, if it does that on Google Plus, then obviously if I comment, reply back to the person on Google Plus, my comment will also be integrated back on to YouTube. Nada. Uh-uh. It weren't shit back on YouTube. None of my comments that I reply to get back on YouTube. Every time I every time I was replying to a comment, it would stay on Google Plus. But then, sure enough, sure enough, they fucked me over again. Now I can't even reply at all. It doesn't. I don't even think when you get that little what's the little shitty ass Taco Bell sign that lights up every time you get a notification. I'm not even able to reply to people's comments from there. And the only reason that they're able to comment on my videos is because they need to have a Google Plus account. So why the fuck can I comment on their thing when they notify me that they liked my video or shared it or commented something on the video? I can't reply to them. The only way I can reply to people is if whenever I upload a video, it says shared via Google. Now the only way I can reply to you is if you reply to that comment in your in that comment your comment and then I can send a barrage and we can have a conversation going from that one thing that says I shared it via Google but if you just comment on the video I can't reply it's stupid as fuck and then also most of the time I can't even do that I think I think the only time I'm able to really notify people that hey I saw your comment is if you follow me on Google Plus or if I follow you on Google Plus. So pretty much if you follow me on Google Plus, you really don't have nothing to worry about, I guess, because all I have to do is put like the plus sign and then like start typing in your name and it'll show up as people that I follow and then it'll, you know, it, like Facebook, it'll put your, you know, your page pretty much in the comment which will notify you pretty much, I guess you would call that a tag. So that's the only way I can do it. But why should I have to go through that much? Why? Why couldn't it just be normal? Maybe because they thought YouTube was turning into a socializing place and they wanted to stick to being just, you know, probably like the next evolution of TV or some shit. I don't know. And then they want Google to be that side to compete with Twitter and Facebook, which why the fuck do you want to do that? One, Twitter unless you're popular, you know, have like 30,000 followers or you're just famous. Twitter and me ain't really popping. Yeah, there's sometimes we can go into the hashtag section and you can just, you know, tweet some things with hashtags and you get, you know, twi tweets popping. Or if something funny happens and then there's memes going everywhere, then yeah, that's when Twitter goes. Instagram, I mean, I don't know. I can't really, you know, complain about that in any type of way or fashion. Facebook, I rarely get on there anymore. So what the fuck are you trying to compete with? Like what? I think I think Facebook bought Instagram anyway, so therefore because they was coming down, you know, it just got lame. All the old people, no offense, went on to Facebook and then took it over pretty much. And then therefore, you know, people had to find somewhere new, so they went to Twitter. And then I for God knows, I don't know what happened to Twitter. And then people just went straight to Instagram. But that's not the point. My point is, why fix something? Why try to change something that isn't broken? Why? Why did you want to do it? And the thing is, I wouldn't even complain if the things that I stated previously were able to happen. But it's to the point where I can't even disconnect the shit. I don't even get an option. I don't get an option to disconnect Google at all. I deleted my pages, you know, to see what would happen. You know what? I can't even delete it. If I delete it, then my channel would be deleted. So pretty much, I would have to start a new channel, which I put a lot of work into this one, which... <laughs> uh -uh. I, I, starting over is last thing in my mind YouTube wise but now I don't, I don't even know what to do you know I'm thinking of starting another channel which will be compatible with this one to where it, well not compatible but it will be like in that add channel section add account section of YouTube so that's the only way I can reply to comments but here's the thing why, why should I have to do all that? Why do I have to think about all that? Why? Why can't I just... Why? It was it was nothing wrong with it. You know, I, I've i been on YouTube for a while, but I haven't started really making videos until like last summer. But I've been on there for a while. So I know the new, the, the, you know, the old layouts. I know all that stuff. I know how all that stuff looked. I know how you could have links in your banner zone, like regardless of wherever it was. I remember this stuff. I think it was on General Marbles. You could click on anything in there and it was like a link and you, it would take you to our website and stuff. It, it was nice. They changed that. I didn't really have a problem with it. I was like, okay, I guess it organizes your videos more. And then now it's, I don't know. 
If I don't comment to anybody's comments, I'm sorry. You have to follow me on Google Plus in order for me to even know. Because if you comment on my videos, it'll tell me, but I can't reply to you. And I have to use the plus sign. And the thing is, even if I spell your name completely right, even if I spell your name completely right, it still won't have like the link of your page in there. So you actually need to follow me. So then it'll pop up saying people that follow me. And then they'll have that name there, and then I can automatically, you know, I it won't be a reply, but it'll just be a comment itself, and then you could reply to the comment, and then we could keep replying. But that's stupid. I understand, but I don't know. I I try. I held my anger in though. I mean, I'm only like fifty percent way mad, so I held it in. I did good, but this has been going on for three weeks now, and it's gotten worse and worse. I'm contacting support to see what they can do to help me. I'm a partner, so it said like it'll give me special benefits if you're a YouTube partner. So I was like, sure, fuck it, whatever. I I I'll go along with it for a while. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I'm almost at 300 subs. So shout out to all my new subscribers out there. How you doing? Hope you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe. Most definitely share this sh share <laughs> because I need I need like to know like what like there must there has to be a fix. I hope there's a fix. I hope. So sharing this video will probably, you know, to enough generate enough traffic to where, you know, someone will come across it and fucking help me. Or at least if it's just no way to be fixed, then I have to create a new channel just so it can comment to things on my channel, which is beyond retarded. So, until then, I hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you guys later. There will be some more vlogs coming, most definitely. And I have a pretty good substantial of things lined out for Thanksgiving, you know, Black Friday and all that good stuff. And until then, I hope to see you guys later.